Welcome back to another video today. We're going to be talking about three reasons that you might want to choose the KTM 300 XC over the ever so popular 300 XCW. There's quite a big difference between these bikes, more than just a letter at the end of the XCW. So I'll talk about those before I talk about the pros of the KTM 300 XC. Now, the difference is the W in the XCW stands for wide ratio, specifically trail gearing. It's gonna love to be on the bottom end, okay? Now, the XC is the cross country model, and it still has the six speed transmission. You still got six gears, but um, I believe they're pretty, pretty shorter in between gears, so you're gonna be shifting more. But you're able to get to the top end quicker and it's going to feel more punchy than the XCW. Uh, reason being because in hair scrambles and cross country races, uh, these bikes are in a lot of open stuff and some woods stuff, but a lot of like open sections. So you want the quick response of the cross country model to get you through the gears so you can bang out gears quicker. Honestly, I was in the market for an XCW before I found this bike. I got this bike because I got a good deal on it, but looking back, I have no buyer's remorse whatsoever, and I'm actually glad that I picked the XC over the XCW because it fits my riding style more. The number one thing why you might choose an XC, if you ever rode a motocross bike in the woods, which is what everybody used to do a long time before they had all the X model bikes and stuff, if you like the punchiness of a motocross bike, but you want to ride trails and stuff, and you can even take this thing to the track. Um, so if you like that aggressive engine, go with the XC. Don't even waste your time with the XCW because you're going to feel like it's, it's going to feel underpowered to you right into the second pro of the XC and that is what I didn't think that it had and that's going to be tractor and lugability able ability to tractor and lug it down low now I ride this this thing I only have seven and a half hours on it right now but I've put it through some slow stuff really slow stuff and never like wished I had an XCW um, this thing handles the low end is great. It's got awesome grunt. It's it's tractor uh, for hill climbs, uh, really tight wood stuff. It's able to tractor through it all, and I never really felt like I was missing out not having an XCW. Um, so that's awesome because I didn't I wasn't aware of that when I bought this bike, which is one thing that I was a little worried about because I was mainly going to ride trails and stuff, and I wanted the XCW, but those things fly off the shelves. Everybody wants an XCW. And that is going to be um, kind of like a bonus pro. You can get good deals. You can, like At the end of the year, when they're getting rid of the current year model bikes, you can pick these up for better deals because they always have leftover XCs. They're not as popular as the XCW. I paid $9,100 out the door for this bike. Title and everything. Nothing owed on it, 9100 out the door. Um, I ended up selling my Yamahas, and I just wanted one bike because I don't have enough time to ride two bikes, and I really wasn't using the 125 much anymore. But, uh, yeah. Now, <laughs> good luck finding an XCW leftover because as far as, I'm cons as far as I know, those things, they, go, they fly fast, and they're awesome bikes. They're just really popular. And... Uh, you know, that's probably KTM's best-selling dirt bike, the XCW. The third uh, pro, and this is probably um, the, best, the best thing about the bike, is just the versatility. Whether you get the 250 or the 300 XC, it is able to tackle any terrain, and it's going to be very confidence-inspiring. I feel like I'm faster on this bike, and I probably am. Um, the suspension is amazing, and you can take it on a... A huge variety of terrain everything from the motocross track to the slick uh, super uh, hard enduro stuff uh, to tight wood stuff anything cross-country racing whatever you want to do if this bike is very versatile it's a do-it-all bike this is this is by far the best do-it-all bike I've ever had those are my three reasons why you should probably 
consider the XC before you pull the trigger on the XCW. Give you guys something to think about if you're in the market for a KTM. And if you're in the market for like a Husqvarna or Gas Gas, it's basically the same thing. The Husqvarna uh, XCW is called the TE and the XC is called the TX. And then for Gas Gas, I know the uh, W version is called the EC. Um, let me know down in the comments below, does Gas Gas have like a cross country bike? I'm not sure. So you guys let me know what, the, what, their, uh, what their model name for that is. Um, I actually looked at a Gas Gas EC 300 and they wanted 10,500 and I was like, that's too much. Then they called me back when I was on the way to this and they said 9,500. Um, but I grabbed this cause it was still less money, but, uh, yeah, that's just, that's all I got for today. And, uh, let me know what you think below. Do you have an XC? Do you have an XCW? Do you have your eyes on one or the other? Let me know. Leave a thumbs up if, the, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out a little bit, gave you something to think about. And please consider subscribing if you're new because I have so many returning viewers month to month and a lot of you aren't subscribed. So do your boy a favor. Let's, let's go. Um, we're almost at 1500 now and uh, we're only going up from here. So thank you guys very much uh, for engaging and everything. And we'll see you next time. Stay safe and take it easy. Peace, guys.